Hey, welcome back to Living MN Outdoors. I'm Daniel, and thanks for tuning in to another fishing report. Before we dive into this week's fishing report, just a couple of things. If you guys use any of the guides or resorts mentioned in today's fishing report, please let them know you saw them on Living MN Outdoors. And if you guys make it out fishing and you bring trash out on the lake, please make sure you're picking up that trash. If you see somebody else's trash, pick that up too. Let's leave the ice cleaner than when we got there and we can all have a blast out on the ice. But with that being said, let's dive in to this week's fishing report. This week we're gonna start up on Leech Lake out of Horseshoe Bay Lodge. Uh, just remember guys, the ice thickness and the vehicle restrictions, these only apply to Horseshoe Bay Lodge. Now, Horseshoe Bay Lodge, they have 15 to 17 inches of ice. They are allowing three quarter ton gas trucks pulling up to 24 foot wheelhouses or three quarter ton diesels pulling single axle wheelhouses. Now, if you wanna bring out a bigger house than that, you will have to dolly it out with a side-by-side. -side. Uh, otherwise, those will be the restrictions for this coming weekend. Now, as far as the fishing goes, uh, the walleye bite right now, uh, that 18 to 21 feet of water, that does seem to be the best depth for those walleyes. There has been some reports of a shallow walleye bite in 8 to 12 feet as well. Um, and you can stop in at the office and the guys in there will point you in the direction of that shallow bite or in a good direction for that 18 to 21 foot bite. Now, as far as how they're catching the walleyes, uh, right now it is key to have big rainbow minnows or three to five inch sucker minnows. Now, hook those on a glow red jig or a plain red hook and you will have some success walleye fishing out on Leech Lake. Now, as far as jigging, during the daytime use something bright, uh, gold, chartreuse, green, pink, uh, those are working well, but then when it comes to nighttime, uh, pink or red, uh, something that glows, those are working really well. Now also right now rip and wraps are working really well to draw those fish in, uh, rip those really hard, make a bunch of noise down there, and more than likely those fish will come in and eat your dead stick or rattle reel. Now as far as the perch bite goes, uh, there still is a perch bite out of Horseshoe Bay Lodge. Uh, he told me Grassy Point has been good in 18 to 32 feet of water. To catch those small spoons, small jigs, tip those with a minnow head, wax worms, or larva, and you're more than likely gonna put some perch topside. Now, the whitefish and tulabi, they are absolutely on fire out of horseshoe right now. Uh, they're catching them in anywhere from 24 to 32 feet of water. The mud basins are the place to be to catch those. Uh, small tungsten jigs with plastics or wax worms and larva are working really well to put those fish topside. Now, like before, guys, if you're looking to get on those whitefish and tulabies, don't hesitate to stop in at the office and ask for advice. They want nothing more for than you to have a ton of success out there. So ask those guys where they would set up and they will point you in the right direction. Now, as far as the eel pout bite goes out there, uh, they're catching eel pout anywhere from 16 to 32 feet of water. Uh, some guys are catching them out while they're out tulabi and whitefish fishing. Uh, they're also catching them up in that 16 to 18 feet while walleye fishing. Uh, use something big and heavy, uh, something that glows, and more than likely you're going to catch an eel pout out on Leech Lake. Now as far as the pike bite goes, uh, the pike are kind of everywhere. Doesn't seem to matter really what you put down for them. They're going to eat and you will run into some pike out on Leech Lake. Now, if you're looking for a place to stay up on Leech Lake Horseshoe Bay Lodge, they have really nice hotel rooms up there. And if you mention Live in MN Outdoors, you will receive a discounted rate on your room. So if you're booking a spot up at Horseshoe Bay Lodge, don't forget to mention us while booking. Now, they also have a full bar and restaurant. They have live music this coming weekend. They have a pool, hot tub, sauna, whatever you could ask for to make a trip an absolute blast. Horseshoe Bay Lodge can accommodate you. Now, if you're looking for a guide trip up on Leech Lake or on one of the surrounding lakes, Leech Lake Guide Team LLC, they will be running guide trips this winter. They do have some availability, so look them up on Facebook or their website and get something on the books. All right, now moving over to Lake Winnie. 
Uh, I talked to Chad from the Pines Resort. He told me they have 15 inches plus of ice. Uh, as far as vehicle restrictions, they are letting out three quarter ton gas trucks pulling up to 24 foot houses. At this time, they are not allowing out any diesel vehicles. Uh, hopefully in the future, they will be allowed to do that, but with the upcoming weather, it's not looking great. Now, as far as the fishing goes, uh, my parents have been up there for the past two nights. Uh, the first night was a little bit slower. I think they got two or three walleyes. And then last night was really good. And they picked off a bunch of really nice eater walleyes. And then quite a few in that 18 to 23 inch range as well. Now, the best ways to catch them, plain red hook with a golden shiner or a pink and white Lindy Frosty with a fathead. Uh, they caught all of their walleyes on dead sticks anywhere from 9 inches to 18 inches off of the bottom. Now, it is primarily a dark bite. Uh, that 5 p.m. till 7 a.m. has been the best time to catch them. Uh, doesn't mean you can't catch them during the day, but the nighttime is the best time to capitalize on those walleyes. Now, as far as the perch bite goes, it is very hit or miss out there on the perch right now. Uh, that 14 to 18 feet of water has been the best, uh, but you are going to have to do some searching in hopes that you get on a school of those bigger perch. Now, if you do get on some perch, the best way is to catch them, a small jigging spoon with a minnow head or a tungsten loaded with some wax worms. Now, as far as the panfish bite goes, they're still catching bluegills and crappies. Uh, they're getting those in 6 to 10 feet of water in the weeds and on the weed lines. Uh, use small jigs with plastics or larva, and you'll probably catch some really nice panfish. Now, as far as the pike bite goes, uh, they're catching pike just about everywhere. Uh, anywhere from 6 foot out to 24 foot doesn't seem to really matter. If you want some bigger pike, put down bigger sucker minnows and you'll probably have a blast catching some northern pike. Now, if you're looking for a place to stay up on Lake Winnie, uh, Chad has some beautiful cabins up there. They have day houses, spear houses, they got a couple sleeper houses, full bar and restaurant, heated fish cleaning shack, uh, whatever you could ask for, Chad can help accommodate that. So if you're looking to get up to Lake Winnie this coming weekend or in the future, go ahead and call Chad from the Pines Resort. Now, if you're looking to stay in an ice castle out on Lake Winnie, Scott from Zup's Guide Service, he has some beautiful ice castles out there. He's always working hard to keep them on fish. Uh, I know people have been absolutely hammering the walleye and perch out there. He does not have a ton of availability left. I believe all of his weekends are full. Uh, but the next opportunity for you to get into one of his houses would be February 6th through the 8th. So if you're looking to book an ice castle up on Lake Winnie, go ahead and call Scott from Zup's Guide Service. All right, now moving over to Mille Lacs Lake out of Castles Resort. Uh, they currently have 19 to 20 inches of ice in zone number one. That is the majority of the bay. And then in zone number two, they have 17 inches plus within the restriction line. Now, as far as what they're allowing out, um, they are only going to allow out wheelhouses to season pass holders and by reservation only. They are full for this coming weekend. So if you want to get up there with an ice castle, uh, go ahead, give them a call or shoot them a message on Facebook and get a reservation for the following weekends. Now, they are open to all public traffic with portables. Uh, you can drive a one ton out with a portable if you'd like. Uh, there is no restrictions as far as that goes. Now, if you're looking to book a wheelhouse, uh, they do have wheelhouses that are full this weekend, but if you're looking to book one in the future, uh, they have lots of really nice ice castles out there. They have some day houses and cabins available as well. So if you're looking to stay up on Mille Lacs Lake out of the Isle Bay area, go ahead and call Jeff or Kimberly from Castles Resort. Now, as far as the walleye bite goes out on Isle Bay, uh, the best steps have still been that 10 to 14 feet on weed lines or in that 19 to 24 foot on break lines. Uh, like I've said the past few weeks, small sucker minnows are key. If you can't find small sucker minnows, try and find some big shiners or rainbows and those will work as well. 
Now, it is primarily a night bite out there right now. Uh, dead sticks, rattle reels, plain red hooks, or glow red jigs are working really well out there. So if you want to catch some walleyes, I highly recommend setting that up. Now, as far as the perch go, there are perch everywhere out there still. Uh, doesn't really matter the depth, you're going to run into perch. If you want to get some of the bigger ones, put down big fat heads below a bobber or upsize to a bigger spoon with a minnow head and you might be able to keep some of them smaller perch away. No, the pike bite still remains to be good out on Isle Bay. Uh, they're catching the majority of them big pike in 8 to 14 feet of water on big sucker minnows on tip-ups or jigging really big spoons with a big minnow. Before we end this week's fishing report, just a couple of tips for you guys to help capitalize on some of those beautiful walleyes on the three lakes. Uh, if you guys are staying in a permanent house, uh, definitely try and keep your generator really far away from your fish house. If you can't do that, try and set it up on the tailgate of your pickup truck uh, because right now with the little snow cover we have, that noise is really spooking the walleyes. Another thing, uh, if you got the lights on in your shack uh, at prime time, it's best to dim those lights down or just shut them off altogether, uh, especially any of the light that is directly over your holes. And then one other thing, guys, uh, try to stagger your set lines anywhere from 8 inches off bottom to 3 feet off bottom. Uh, don't run them all one depth. Kind of stagger them when you find one that's working. Move some more to that, and eventually you might end up setting them all to the same depth. So just a couple of tips to help increase your success on walleye fishing. Uh, hope it works for you guys. Hope you guys can make it out fishing. Remember, be kind to other fishermen. Don't crowd your neighbors. Uh, remember, pick up your trash. And most importantly, don't forget to get on out there and get living. <laughs>